for normies. Wait a second. Do 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 do. Magic for normies. Hi everybody! It's magic for normies. Welcome. Yo. Um. First of all, I need to show <laughs> you all something. First point of business. Hey, Baltan! Thank you so you much for the subscription. Oh, snap, Baltan. Wow, 15 months in a row. Baltan's the best. He is. He's amazing. So, um, everybody, Ugh. this is Ruby. Um, she's my new kitten. And here she is. This is her she's first. She's so cute. This is her first ever live, live. Okay, okay, Ruby. Okay, I'm just trying to show the people. She's upset. She's upset. Um, yeah, Everything's so. Everything's so new to her still. The world is new to her. The entire yeah. world. Okay, so <laughs> she, she's gonna show off for the crowd. If you see her going a little crazy, it's because hey, thank you for the cheer. That's a cheer for my new kitten. Oh Ruby. dang! Ruby, Ruby, don't no, no. She's attacking the window blinds, and, and, and she's attacking. And you. she's attacking. She's me. like so. Like, nope. Hey, th thanks, Rafels. Thank you for the bit. Um. So what are we talking about? Oh yeah, magic for normies. <laughs> hey everybody, it's magic for normies. I'm Pixie Kitten, this is Zuby, and we are here to talk about Magic the Gathering um, in a super casual way for normies. Heck yeah. Yeah, heck yeah. So we're gonna talk about Kaldheim tonight because I mean, what else is going on except for Kaldheim? There's it's just- Not much else is going it's on, It's just the honest. thing, it really, it's the thing. I'm so I'm really worried that Ruby's gonna like just jump on me at any moment and attack me. I mean, you might deserve it. I don't think I deserve it. You but should. if it happens, I'll try not to scream into the mic. I'll try not to, <laughs> but I can't make any promises, okay? Because oh, her man. little claws are sharp. Oh yeah, oh yeah. I I did vicious. trim them. I trimmed them, but they're still sharp though. Oh yeah. Yeah. So, um, what have we been up to lately? This, that's usually our first topic for Magic for Normies. Oh, what do we have going on? I have some stuff coming up soon, and I think you probably do too, Zuby. Um, oh yeah. Yeah. So, the uh, Arena Early Access event for Kaldheim is coming up very soon. I think it's next Wednesday. Yes, it is. It is the twenty seventh is the event yes it is um i have signed up for that so i plan on streaming um hey the mason clark thank you for the follow oh hey mason clark um yeah so i plan on streaming the early access event i don't know exactly what time i'm going to but sometime that day probably in the afternoon uh yeah you're gonna do some sealed yeah maybe i just do really bad on sealed or draft or are you gonna do mainly <laughs> standard i'll probably play some i'll probably play some constructed hey jake Ooh. and joel are magic thank you for the follow oh dang it's jake and the jizzle okay that's not a bad sorry yeah. oh, joel <laughs> <laughs> i did not mean it like that <laughs> It's okay. Twenty-seven hour stream hype. No, Kyoji, I am not gonna stream for twenty-seven hours. Sorry, I can't do that. I that would literally kill me. Like, there's no way. I can't imagine when people do these like like twenty-four hour streams. I'm just like, y'all wild. Like, how? I can't. Oh my god. Like, I I planned to try to do one, uh, one year and you did. Like, I was planning on it and all that stuff, and I, I mean, something happened where I couldn't do it anymore, but holy crap. I I think the most I've ever streamed is, like, five or six hours before. Yeah. And I was exhausted. Like, I was wiped. Yeah. You get it's to just... sleep for 18 hours afterwards. Yeah, it, oh, it, is, yeah. Pr it is pretty exhausting. I, I think there was one early access event where I streamed for, <laughs> a, I can't remember. It was, it was some long amount of time. Maybe like six hours or something. 
God, but I was awesome. just having so much fun. Yeah, that, no, I know. That, yeah, that it was. It, it didn't addicting. feel. Yeah, I didn't like feel exhausting until I'm done, and then I'm like, oh wait, I'm like mentally drained. I just need to sit on the couch for. Yeah, especially now, when you get an audience hours. going, like talking with you, interacting yes. with them, and all yes. that stuff. It's, yes, you can just keep going. Right, and I'm actually really introverted. So while I like. I, I enjoy doing it. I like talking to people or chatting with people who are, who are there in the chat. It's super draining, like, when it's all said and done. So, oh, yeah. yeah. No, exactly what you mean. I'm very, very, very similar. Like, I've gotten out of my introvertedness over the years, but it's still very much like... Like, for an example, like when I do a podcast interview or when we play D&D &D mm -hmm. and all that stuff and all mm -hmm. that, like all that talking and all that interacting, I'm like, OK, I'm done. Let me uh, go to Animal Crossing or something and just not talk to anybody. Yeah, <laughs> I just need like to chill and <laughs> yeah. not speak whatsoever. Yeah. Um, yeah. So anyways, all of that to say, I plan on streaming some of the early access event, but I don't know exactly when. I haven't set my schedule yet. But I will post about it on Twitter when I do set Sweet. my schedule. Are you going to stream it, Zuby? Maybe. I mean, I'll, I'll talk about that in a second because uh, oh. just everything's so up in the air. Yeah, I gotcha. Um, what, do I have Do I have? I thought you had else? one more. Oh, 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 it was Ruby. Oh. It was me yeah, that's introducing right. that's right. Ruby, which she has run off somewhere. She's run off. She's like, nope. Y'all have this. seen her. I'm sure she'll be back. Yeah. Yeah. So if you follow me on Twitter or TikTok, you know, because I'm 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 a big thing in TikTok now. Um, oh, okay, yeah, sure. I'm, I'm, yeah. Um, or or if you're in my if you're in the Discord, um, I am. I uh, you've probably noticed that you know I've gone through some shit at home. Mm. Um, house got flooded and um, not fun. All that goes uh, having to deal with stuff, and so we had the. Yeah one of the demo guys here today talking about what they may have to do to the house if it gets approved by the homeowner's insurance. And I may not be able to live on my house for about, you know, a week or two. So we got to, oh. <laughs> so everything's so up in the air of what's going to happen. Mm -hmm. Like, especially next week, it's, I, I'm literally taking it a day at a time. So what that yeah. means is depending on, how long even just the demo takes and then the rebuild too, mm -hmm. it's I may not be able to do content for a while mm. because where I'm do where I do my content now, um <laughs> Reno with Zoom <laughs> <laughs> um it is in the office and the office got affected and so they're gonna have to redo the entire office floor. So Ooh. Yeah. Yeah, that that is not fun. <laughs> She's back. Oh god, I'm scared. <laughs> um, yeah. I mean, but if you're saying it's only going to be so you mean like a week or a couple of weeks for the demolition and then additional yeah, and then time the, for, for the, the renovation. Okay. Yeah, for yeah, for the renovation and well, it may be like I said I I don't know um when I'll be able to do podcasting and I don't know when I'll be able to do normies again or stream and yeah. all that. It's so up in the air. So just mm. follow it. Just, I, I'm sure I'll announce stuff on Twitter and all that. Yeah. Um, that sucks, but I mean, like it's understandable. These things happen. Yeah. yeah. And, and like what we were talking about before the, before the stream is when this is all said and done, I'll have possibly a brand new kitchen, basically mm -hmm. a brand new bathroom. Nice. Uh, Almost like a brand new master bedroom, essentially. Yeah, yeah. So that's nice. I got got to try to think of the good. Yeah, I mean, and this it'll be like, worth nope. it. Yeah, she, yeah. I'm, I'm so sorry. I'm not trying to be distracted. I'm just no. It's I know. Terrified. I know. What you mean. I'm, I'm literally terrified. She's she's wild. She's so wild, and she'll just jump on well, you at, at the any age, moment. They're so energetic. She like, is nonstop playful. Yeah, and, like, it's just really hard to sleep at night. Really hard. She just gets in your face and literally, or, like, sleeps right here, like, in my do, neck. 
or does she attack your feet or anything like under on the yeah. blanket and oh, all that? Definitely. Yeah, I yeah, like, that. <laughs> like I can't move. I'm just like, don't move, don't breathe. Or because you will move see one me. little thing, she'll just jump yeah. on you yeah. and attack. Yeah, <laughs> I remember that. That that's how Arya was. Arya is still very much like that. My orange one. Mm -hmm. She she's the youngest, and she's she's a runt too. Oh. And she, she's not very big at all, but she's still like that. She's very like two playful. or three now. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Ah, she's attacking me. I'm scared. I'm scared. So, okay. <laughs> so we have a lot of stuff going on. You have a lot of real life stuff going on. Yeah. But, I mean, it'll end eventually. And oh, yeah. We'll, yeah. You know, we'll get right back to it. It is what it is. I mean, I think the worst part about it is that it all this is happening and you have to be out of your house during the pandemic yeah, that, that's like the that worst part really sucks yeah i know i don't know if i don't know if they're gonna like put us in a hotel or something i don't know yeah i'll gotta figure that out yeah i'm so sorry that that is not fun i would be very stressed out if that were me so i'm sorry you have to go through that Subi. boo <sighs> um, you know it, it's I don't know. It's it's fuck 2021 so far. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was supposed to be better than 2020. I mean, yesterday yeah, was yesterday a relatively was good. boring day, which is good. Yes. Yes, it was. I mean, I think both of us are pretty clear in our social media that we were not supporters of Donald Trump. So yesterday was very nice. Yeah getting rid of him was wonderful so yeah and it was a relatively boring inauguration yeah and i, I that's what we need that's what yes. we needed yes <laughs> yes no more drama please at all right except for good drama okay good drama is fine that is fine yeah like the, the kind the popcorn drama yeah like, like pixie said what on twitter oh my god how could she Wait, what? Is that what you do? No. <laughs> hey, Kitty Simp. Thank you for the follow. Kitty Simp. Kitty Simp. What's up? I got, I, I've got a kitten here, but she's being like relatively chill on my lap. So I'm just going to leave her there. Good. For good. the moment. Hey, it's demonic. Hey, it's demonic. Hey, everybody. What is up? Um, so yo, we're yo, yo. we are gonna talk about Calheim a little bit. The entire set. Um oh yeah, that word is banned. Oh shit. I shouldn't have said that. Oh god. My channel's Fuck. gonna get deleted. Fuck. Now. We're banned from Twitch. I'm um, so get... sorry, Twitch. Can I apologize? Oops. Sorry, we're I just reported. covered your face, Subi. <gasps> it's uh, back. It's how back. How dare you? <laughs> it's back. It's back. Okay, so Kaldheim. Okay, the first thing we're going to talk about, like way back when, before Kaldheim came out, we, Zuby and myself, made predictions for this set. So we have a whole entire list of predictions, which we're going to go over, and we're going to see how many of those predictions came true. So this will be exciting. Yeah, so our first one um, actually was one of your predictions, Frost Zombies. And did that happen? Um, I'm trying to look because I'll be Are honest. Are there frost I zombies? I well, hold, hold on. So there's there is the priest of the haunted edge, which is a snow creature zombie cleric. Uh, uh, okay, w w would that count? I, I think so. I mean, I think a snow zombie would count. Who's who's someone says Narfi? Who's that? I think. I'm, a snow creature that is a zombie does count as a frost zombie. Oh, yeah. Legend. Oh, Narfi Betrayer King. Legendary snow creature zombie wizard. So I think, yeah, I think that. I got count. one. So I got one. So, oh, yeah. Sweet. So Hell that's yes. one. Hell yes. Hell yes. Okay. Your your next one, snow permanence. I mean, yeah, that's. We, I we am that. so good at these predictions. Oh, my right? gosh. Holy so shit. Good. I can't yeah. wait to do the Strixhaven one. <laughs> <laughs> right? Um, so, yeah, we, we know there's snow permanents, definitely. Yes, yes. N not, not just the snow lands, but snow creatures. Yeah. As well. Mm hmm. Um, our next one a Lich King like creature. 
Did we? Is there a Lich King like creature? I don't think there is. Well, Narfi Betrayer King is the zombie wizard. What color is that? It's Demir. Oh, blue and black. Gross. I mean, I don't think there's a sink. Yeah, there's not a single lich. Narfi. I don't think there is. There, there's not any. There's not any liches. I don't think. Right. But I, I almost feel like Narfi would be the closest to a Lich King-like creature, maybe. But I mean, does, other... Narfi is more Kelthazad than Arthas. Okay. Ah, uh, yeah, I can see that. I can see that. Other snow and zombie creatures you can draw plus one plus one. I mean, so I feel like the creature would have to be like reanimating stuff. Yeah, or, or, or really making zombies. Be, yeah, to really yeah. be a Lich King. And yeah, I don't think there's. So. Let, let me look at the black creatures because that's usually in black. Um, I don't think there's anything like that. Um, no. Yeah, I don't think there is. I no. Yeah, so. I don't. I don't. I don't think I got that one. I yeah. I, I feel like Narfi would be close, but no cigar. Not exactly. No Lich King like yeah. creature didn't happen. Sorry. Sorry, me. Oh. Um. You said boats and ships, which we did get some uh, vehicles of boats and ships. Oh, yeah. Oh, my gosh. Boom. I'm so good. Okay. Holy okay. shit. Three out of four so far. I am so good at this. Um, my first one yeah. was completely fucking wrong. Um, Chandra is going to show up. That didn't happen? No, Chandra's not here at all. No, she's not. Um, she's not. It, it's the, the only planeswalkers we got, Nico. Um, right. Uh oh shoot well, um 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 Kaya yep. wasn't there another one oh uh T Tibalt Tibalt yeah, is back the food only time thank you for the sub oh thank you food time boats let's go I just thought seeing Chandra would almost kind of make sense because you know fire and ice eh, but, yeah I was I'm, wrong I'm glad they didn't do it I mean she's she was honestly in the lot in a few recent sets so I yeah. Know. So my next one is frost zombies that are in the color blue. Um, Narfi is technically blue. Okay. Um, but let me see if there's any mono blue frost zombies. Oh, there is. Carfell Harbinger okay. is a well blue zombie wizard, not a frost though. Um, is it a snow not, creature? No, it's not a snow creature. It's just uh, a blue zombie. Zoom. No, I don't. I think Narfi would be the only one. Yeah, that'd be a snow zombie in blue, but it's Demir. So uh, I, I, I'd say kind of half right. Yeah, maybe? halfway. Yeah, halfway. Yeah. Uh, our next one is yes. a bone dragon that I guess. <gasps> bone dragon, Cindragosa. Yeah, Cindragosa like creature, and we didn't get anything like that. Oh man, why not though? Wouldn't that be so cool? It'd be fucking badass the only yeah, kind of would. dragon we got was that i think that treasure zomb or not a uh, treasure dragon oh, that was right. mono red yeah mono red yep yep what does syndragosa say you are fools to have come to this place yeah. <laughs> the icy winds of northern will consume your souls oh my how many times have you done that raid oh so many and i'm i still love it even though i haven't gotten in wait wait we we got a vampire dragon we did get a vampire dragon yes was it in black it's it's um rakdos oh rakdos hold on hold on hold on, hold on. let me take a look at that vampire dragon vampire it, it's, dragon it, it's not a bone dragon though it's not a bone dragon but it's honestly better i would argue because it's a vampire dragon i mean that hello oh, hi muhammad what's up I mean, vampire dragons are pretty cool. Pretty cool. Yeah, pretty freaking cool. Wingardium Sindragosa. Stop! <laughs> Efren! Efren. Should I ban him? Uh, no. All right, so your next... So the next prediction was yours, a Frostmourne-like equipment, and I don't think we got anything like that. We didn't get a big fancy sword? I don't think so. Or did uh, we? Uh, 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 unless one of the gods like flip into an awesome looking sword. There is a god that flips into an awesome looking sword. If Which I remember correctly. 
Um, uh, that's 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 like a, a hammer. Never mind. That's like an enchantment. Okay. Uh, that's a horn. Okay. That's I a lantern. Know. Okay. Never mind. I lied. There's no frost horn. Yeah. That's a and throne. one of them turns into a bird. Okay. Sure. Yellow. And it's a throne. No. Okay. I didn't get that prediction right. But isn't that kind of no. surprising? There's like no sword at all. Now, I'm not seeing. Well, there's the Valkyrie sword, which is it. it, it it's a white artifact equipment, mm. but it's not Frostmourne. That would not be Frostmourne. No, white no. would not be Frostmourne. No. Nope. Wow, we're well, nerds. By well, the way. well, there, there's Halver, the god of battle, who can also flip into a sword, but that's not Frostmourne like at all. Mm. Mm. No, so, okay. no, no Frostmourne like sword. Ah, uh, we tried. So my next one is a Ragnarok god. Um, what the hell did I mean by that? Uh, a Ragnarok god? A Thor? Oh, oh, like a Thor. Yeah? I don't oh, know. Is there like a Thor one? Because the blue one, Alrun, so sort of like Odin. Well, I mean, there's lots of gods, so I would say you got it, right? Well, like would Torath be considered like Thor because he flips into a hammer? And it's like Ooh. it's like a lightning hammer. Ooh, too? yeah, probably. All right, we're going with that. Torath is the Let's Ragnarok. Let's do it. The Let's Thor do Ragnarok it. God. Yeah, Boom. that was the red. That's the red one, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Torath, God of Fury. So sure. boom, I got one right. There you go. Um, next one that I said: double face snow cards. <gasps> um, that happened with the lands, right? Snowland? But they weren't. But they, but they they're weren't, not double face. No. But, no. Well, yeah. Well, they're well not. we well we have the flip lands, but they're not double they're, face. And yeah, no, that's not exactly. Well, 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 I mean, we have the flip the 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 flip lands, but they're not snow. Right. Kind of thing. Um. So technically, we did get double face cards, but I don't think they're there's not. A single yeah, they're not snow. Slopes. So that's a no. Eh, you're wrong. I'm basic. Sorry. You're basic. <laughs> um. Next, I said a frozen mechanic. Frozen. Which I don't think there's anything. There's foretell, boast, and I think that's about it, right? As far as mechanics go, I can't think of any uh, other. Yeah. There's I frozen so. boast and then snow, essentially. Which, yeah. You know, so there's no frozen type mechanic. Mm, oh well. What did you say? Foretell. Foretell and boast. Yeah, for, foretell, yeah, yeah, yeah. boast. Uh -huh. What did I say? You said frozen and boast. Oh, I totally knew that. You were trying yeah. to make frozen happen, but it's just not working. I know. Jorn, god of winter, is a flip snow creature, snow artifact. Oh, Jorn. Oh, so, okay, there is technically a a, a snow flip card. All right. So... Got that right. Well, there you go, Zuby. You can have that one. Um, my last prediction was a cold as ice card name, and I don't think cold as ice. No, there's nothing like that. Oh no. Yeah, I'm I'm searching all the ice names right now. Yeah. Nothing. Oh. Mm -mm. I I ice breaker. No. Nope. <laughs> nope, no cold as ice. I mean, there is one more prediction there, but I don't even know if I want to talk about it because it's so lame. Do it. Let's talk about it. Some some weird guy talked about um, <laughs> a DQ Blizzard food token. Uh huh. Efren. Efren. Efren predicted that there would be a Dairy Queen Blizzard food token in the set. So Efren, I'm pretty sure that didn't happen. Um, yeah, basic. Yeah. Yeah, basic. So that reminds me. I'm going to go off on a little bit of a tangent here. I was talking to Efren oh, earlier today. And the worst. This, is, okay. this is really weird. But apparently Efren had a dream last night that I was sponsored by KFC. Kentucky Fried okay. Chicken. Okay? So I was... You're close to Kentucky. I was sponsored by Kentucky Fried Chicken and like... My face was like on the bucket and stuff. So 
when that happens, when I get that sponsorship, I mean, y'all can, I'll just hook y'all up with some free chicken and stuff. Hey, they're, they're, you know, I, I, I like their uh, popcorn chicken. Yeah, it's, it's great. Sure. Who doesn't? Mm. It's, it's and, wonderful. Um, you get to, uh, what, what they'll have you do is KFC is going to come out with, um, grease free, uh, sleeves for your cards. <gasps> so you can, you can happily eat fried chicken while playing magic. That's and the not crossover. Feel that's yeah, there you that's go. the cross. There's going to be a KFC secret lair. The Colonel, oh my God. the Colonel will be so, a legendary creature. Uh, uh, wizards. You can send the check to Magic for Normies, P.O. Box 889-7563501. Um, um, my P.O. Hollywood Box... Hollywood Hills. <laughs> my P.O. Box is actually P.O. Box 903, Nolansville, Tennessee, 37135. They can send, send the there. check there. Do it. Send it. Send that check. We got the ideas up in here. KF, KF Sleeves. Thank you, KF food sleeves. time. Thank you, food time. <laughs> KF yes. Sleeves. This we'll, is so we'll, good. This we'll, is we'll so good. We'll give them a 5% kickback for coming up with that name. Um, That's great. Yeah, or maybe, yeah, we'll negotiate that. A, a, th a 3%. KFC Secret Lair with 13 secret originally mechanically unique <laughs> cards. <laughs> And then we're going to start our own format after that. Aye, aye, Captain. Okay. So, <laughs> it's not going to be called Captain, obviously. It would be called no. something else. Um, Colonel. Well, it's called Colonel. Like, that makes sense, right? <laughs> I mean, that makes so much sense. Colonel format. <laughs> KF commander this is so good this this is so freaking good okay i'm recording this and saving this forever because these ideas are golden and i just want everyone to know we came up with them first on january 21st 2021 we came up with these ideas for ks sleeves for the kernel <laughs> format for all of this 13 card hands you start with 13 cards and <laughs> Obviously, that makes so much sense. Like, oh my god, this. <sighs> okay, Efren's dream is becoming a reality. It has Holy to. Shit. It has to. Call me KFC. Just do it. I'll. I'm. I'm willing to work with you. Finger licking mechanic. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Oh my god, this is great. I'm so looking forward to this. It's gonna be wonderful. I All really right, someone like some fried chicken now, though. Oh, my God. it's you, you don't have them up in Tennessee, but you want some good fried chicken, you go to Publix. We do Get have Publix in Tennessee. What? P Publix is up in Tennessee? I thought the it was only a Florida store? thing. The grocery store? Yeah. Yeah. I, 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 didn't, I didn't know it was outside of Florida. I think Publix is everywhere. Oh, okay. Baltian Redeemed changed the stream name. To what, Baltian? KFC yeah. for normies. Okay, I got it right now. Um, the FC's one side original, the other side extra crispy. <laughs> 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 oh my god, Dairy Queen crossover next. That's a, that's that would be a good one as well. So, so the, the original side is you know just your normal card, yep, but the extra crispy side it's a little bit stronger, but you have to have drawbacks though, right? Like. Like I can counter this spell for two, right? But I've I've got to give up one piece of fried chicken, <clears throat> right? When I do it, you're gonna lose you, something. Yeah, you, you gotta you gotta take a piece of fried chicken out of your bucket and give to a yes, give the opponent you counter the spell from. Yeah, you've got to give them a piece of your chicken. So <laughs> where we are totally figuring this out. Oh, Taco Bell crossover. Yes, please. Let's do Taco that. Taco Bell, no Chipotle. Um, no. Uh, Taco That's Bell. That's way better. I would rather have Taco Bell. Sorry. I like it. The drawback is diarrhea. Taco Bell is cheaper. That is right. It's true. Taco Bell is very inexpensive. Listen, I used to eat at Taco Bell a lot. Like, back when I was in college, I lived right, 
like <laughs> behind a Taco Bell, and I ate there like three or four nights a week. Literally, I am not exaggerating. It was wonderful. They're they're not bad. Um, I love them. Definitely not for one like, of my favorites. But. For like $5. I mean. Oh, oh yeah. Like when you're like a poor college kid. Hell, hell yeah. yeah. It's great. Fuck yeah, man. It's great. It's great. It did change colors, Kyoji. My drink did change colors. <gasps> it's magic. Doo -doo -doo -doo. For normies. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. Okay, chat. We're getting a little too. Uh, what is going on here? Let, let's let's continue on with with Kaldheim. Yes, with our favorite cards from Kaldheim because we'll just go on off these tangents. So of... let's do it. Okay, <laughs> enough chat. Efren, <laughs> aka Efren. Oh my gosh. Okay, so um, our Kaldheim favorite cards. It, I said top three, but I actually picked four. <laughs> so sorry about that. That's okay. You do yours because my favorite cards. I did a tweet about them. Oh, you um, did. You did. And okay, okay, I'm, I, I'm just I'm just going to use what I used in the tweet. I'm not going to, because I picked 11 cards, but I'm not going to do all 11. 11? Yeah. Whoa. But okay. I'm going to talk about the ones I really liked out of it. Okay. So you go, you go first with yours. Okay, I will go first. So all of my cards are mono black, except for my fourth one. Um. So my first favorite card is Turgrid. Am I saying that right? Tur tur that's what it sounds Turgrid, like. Turgrid, God of Fright? Like, it just sounds okay. like that's weird, but I mean. It does sound weird, yeah. I'm sorry. Am I saying it wrong? Somebody tell me. It, it, it sounds. Do we have a? Do we have to do another episode of how to pronounce things? <laughs> please, please. T T Turgrid sounds right to me. Okay, so this is one of my favorite cards. Turgrid, God of Fright. Um, it's a legendary creature god. It costs three black blacks, so a four or five with menace. Whenever an opponent sacrifices a non-token permanent or discards a permanent card, you may put that card from a graveyard onto the battlefield under your control. No. Yes. No. Let's go. This is so good. You want to put this in a discard deck? Like, whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. No. Yeah, that's nasty, right? Yeah, forget about Tiny Bones. Get this card I as your commander. I know. So on the flip side is Turgrid's Lantern, three and a black, legendary artifact. Tap it, target player loses three life unless they sacrifice a non-land permanent or discard a card. That's not too bad because... That's pretty nice. Especially like in the beginning of the game, I wouldn't mind losing three life. Yeah. yeah. Um, or you can pay three and a black and untap Turgrid's Lantern. So you can do that as many times as you have mana, honestly. Yeah. That's nice. So if you had a way to get like infinite mana, just... You're done. Yeah, you're done. You're done, fools. So yeah, I I just really kind of like that. It's a nasty, nasty, disgusting card. It is. It's nasty. It is nasty, and I like it. I really I do. love her. I love her uh, flavor text. Oh, what did it say? Uh, on the front side, fear is her one true companion. <gasps> Ooh, that's so fucking like dark. It really is. <clears throat> oh dang. Okay, cool, cool. It's cool, though. Okay, so the next card I picked um, is Haunting Voyage. It is a okay. sorcery for four colorless, a black and a black. Choose a creature type. Return up to two creature cards of that type from your graveyard to the battlefield. If this spell was foretold, return all creature cards of that type from your graveyard to the battlefield instead. So the foretell is five black black. So remind me again. So with foretell, you, you pay two to play it face down and then you pay the foretell cost. But can you cast that foretell as an instant? And then, or, or can you only do um, the foretell as a sorcery? Or, I don't know. So, see, I'm, that's where I'm confused with it. I am not sure. Maybe somebody in chat knows. Um, yeah, like wh when can you cast for? Oh, it's limited to the spell speed. Uh, oh, oh okay. foretelling. Well, hold up. Baltan says foretelling can be done at any speed. 
And then Colin says, no, Esther. Okay, I'm confused. <laughs> the cast is the speed of the original spell. Yeah, because the, the way it's worded oh. is like, okay, so during your turn, you may pay two and exile this card from your hand face down. Then you can cast this same card later for its foretell cost. So casting it for how it would originally be cast, right? So it sounds like to me, it would be a sorcery. If it was an instant, then you could cast it at instant speed, but it's not, it's a sorcery, so you're casting it as a sorcery later on. Flip up to cast only at the speed of the origin. Okay, okay. So, okay, so you can only f use the foretell cost as whatever the speed of that spell is, then you yes. can't do it. Because whenever. you're still not, just casting what it is. Okay, okay, you know that I, makes sense. Yeah, yeah, that's how I'm seeing it. Okay. Yeah, it's freaking confusing. I, yeah, I was totally confused by that because like, that's still a good card. It's really good, but yeah. I was thinking, shit, with Foretell, does that mean you could do it on like your Oh my gosh, turn? that would be wild. Be so That would good. be wild. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but, I mean, in Standard, no, this card's probably not going to be great. But in Commander... Oh yeah. yeah. Yeah, really fun. And I like playing um uh creature type decks. What am I saying? Like creature tribal? Yeah, tribal, thing? tribal, yeah. So, you know, this is this is good in that sort of thing, obviously. So yeah, that was my second Sweet. one. Um, and then my third one is Eradicator Valkyrie. <laughs> Um, this is an Angel Berserker. It costs two black black. It's a 4-3 with flying, lifelink, and hexproof from Planeswalkers. Ooh, I like that. Yeah, that's nice. That's really freaking good. Um, it has boast, one black, sacrifice a creature. Each opponent sacrifices a creature <coughs> or Planeswalker. That's going to be really good in your jury deck. Yeah, activate this ability only if this creature attacked this turn and only once each turn. So, but wait, still, you, yeah, you activate it as you attack. So, oh yeah, yeah, oh. yeah. Okay, so the boast does work as an instant. Yeah, I think so. I'm pretty sure. It yeah. Does. yeah, 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 yeah. Well, well, I think you can activate it any time after you declare they attack too. So you don't have to do it during attack phase. I think you could also do it like during like block phase or mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. or second main phase. Sure. Yeah, but that's I think that's, so. I love sacrifice stuff, so yeah, this one looks. That's fun. holy crap, and, and it's it, it's funny because you know I went through all these cards trying to find my favorite ones, but I missed I missed over cards like this. Cause, yeah, you know I didn't spend a lot of time sure and looking there's at every single one. A lot. I mean, you know, oh yeah, there's so many to see. Um, so I so I had a fourth one which we kind of already talked about. It's the vampire dragon. Oh yeah, the 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 vampire one. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So Immerstrom, Immersturm. No, I think Sturm. it's Immersturm. Immersturm. Okay. Immersturm. Okay. Immersturm. Immersturm. Immersturm Predator. <laughs> it cost uh, two black and a red. It's a three-three vampire dragon with flying. <laughs> I'm sorry. Immersturm <laughs> Predator. Immersturm. Whenever Immersturm Predator becomes tapped, exile up to one target card from a graveyard and put a plus one plus one counter on Immersturm Predator. Sacrifice another creature. Immersturm Predator gains indestructible until end of turn. Tap it. That is a good sack outlet, too. Yeah, it's Only for nice. four mana? Dang. Yeah, I like it. I have so many decks I'm going to need to put oh, this in. Oh, from a graveyard. From oh, a graveyard. Shit. Yeah. Oh, shit. Are we going to see a new Jun sack deck? I freaking hope so. Yes, let's go. I, mean, I can see you putting this in Jury. Oh, yeah. And Hell yeah. Yes, yes, both. For sure. It would be Damn. good. That's yeah. Awesome. Yeah, I love it. So those are my favorite cards from the set so far. That is awesome. So, okay, so I'll just do three of the cards. Um, okay. Out of the 11 I picked. and um, I'll pull them up. 
Yeah. So my first one, and and I will have to say, I think everybody, a lot of people, be surprised. There is not a single blue card that I even liked. <gasps> like that I would consider Shock. one of my favorites in the set. E- e- even like a Demir is it card too. Like not a single blue one. Wow. I know. That is really shocking. So the first card that I freaking like fell in love with was Varagoth Blood Sky Sire. The uh, the two in a black. How do you spell Var- Varagoth? Or Var- Varagoth V A R R A Goth G O T H. V A R R A. Yeah, V A R R A. Got it. Yeah. So it's a it's a two and a black demon rogue with death touch. It's a two three has boast. You pay one and a black and target player searches their library for a card, then shuffles mm. their library and puts that card on top of it. Nice. So you basically tutor every single time it attacks. That's really so, nice. Oh, freaking good! I want to put this in a Yara yeah. just so I can be like, I, oh, I can get Gary every single time. Oh my god! <laughs> yes, that's fun. I like this card too. It is so good, and plus the art, even the showcase art. Oh yeah, so yeah, I remember good. seeing that. Yeah, yeah. it's awesome. I love the blue path to exile. What's the blue path to exile? I guess I don't remember it. Oh boy. Um, so the next one <laughs> that I really liked, yeah, um, would be one of the red gods, Burgi or Burgi or Bougie, B I R G I, god of storytelling. G I. Okay. Um, she's two and a red legendary <laughs> creature god. Whenever you cast a spell, add red. red add red mana. So until oh end of turn, god. you don't lose this mana as steps and phases in. And creatures you control can boast twice during each of your turns rather than once. Oh, wow. Um, nice. So I love that for not only my Niv Mizzet deck and, and my Torbrand deck, because Niv Mizzet oh. has a lot of cantrips uh-huh. that I can just keep piling on the mana um, uh-huh. but i love the backside of this the 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 horn the flip side the hardenfell horn of bounty mm-hmm. for something like um torbrand because they're red like mono red doesn't have a lot of good card draw like like mm-hmm. you know there, there's good cantrips and all that stuff but you know after a while you're gonna run out of ways to draw cards so you can play this mm-hmm. um for four and a red you discard a card, exile the top two cards of your library. You may play those cards this turn. Hmm. So just another way to keep digging through your library to yeah. find whatever you're looking for. That's pretty good. I I, I really like it. Nice. Um, the next one that I really, really, really liked. Okay, here we go. It was a green card. Ooh, okay. Um, it was the legendary squirrel creature. Oh. Oh, Toski. T-O-S-K-I. Okay, this is so cute. It is. It's so cute. So Toski, Bearer of Secrets. Yep. For three and a green, it's a 1-1. One, one. It, it, it can't be countered. Love it. It's indestructible. Okay. It has to attack each combat <laughs> if able. You know, not the worst thing in the world. Uh-huh. Um, whenever a creature you control deals combat damage to a player, draw a card. Okay. So not just this creature, but any creature yeah. you control. Um, and I want to put this in Otrimi. It just to mutate on top of this. Oh gosh. Okay. The yeah. indestructible mutate creature. That's good. And all that. Yeah, that's and good. You, and you give it trample or something and yep. death touch. Mm. So good. Yeah, and it's just so cute. Like, why would you not oh, want to play is. that? Is there a is there a showcase art for it? I don't think so. Okay. Not that one. Um mm-hmm. Maybe there is not. I don't know. It's green. Let's see. I'm checking. Oh, yeah, there is. There is. Tursky, oh, Bearer of Secrets. Yep. Oh, oh, it's cute. Yeah, it's, it's like cute. It's angry looking, too. Yeah. It, it, are those, like, freaking muscles on them, too? Yeah, this squirrel is jacked, bro. He's fucking jacked. Like, he could oh my fuck God. you up. Uh, he the, would suplex you. This squirrel could kick the shit out of me. He kicked the shit out of all of us. <laughs> right? He, he, even if we were, you know, quote unquote stronger than it, it's indestructible. Yeah. Yeah. It, it's it's going to keep going until you're tired. <laughs> 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 it's like the rabbit from Monty Python. <laughs> yeah. It's just like, oh, look, it's just a cute little squirrel. Nope. You're done. Nope. 
Yeah, look at its claws. It's like terrifying. Oh, man. I mean, it's still cute, but also yeah. scary. Is that like a braid or is that part of its ears or something? I think it's got a braid. It it's that's it cool. has hair that's braided. This squirrel is hardcore. The squirrel's badass. And I love it. Muhammad so said the, we need to hydrate. I'm doing it. Um, hydrate, here we go. With mm -hmm. with a with a with a wine cooler. <laughs> Thanks, Muhammad. So those are my three favorite cards that I've seen out of um Kaldheim and not a single blue one. That's amazing, and I'm so proud of you. Um, Thank you. It, I, I also, you can be proud of me, but you can also sort of blame Wizards that they didn't make any awesome, amazing blue cards. I'm, that, I'm not going to blame them. I'm so glad them. they did that. Yeah, I didn't really venture out of my normal color loves, but, you know, whatever. Sorry. You were all yeah. over the place with the colors you liked there. Yeah. But jund. It, it was all Jund. Yeah, black, red, green. Love some Jund. Oh, damn. I love some Jund. Raven form. What? Okay, so I, let's look at this card. Let's look at this card, okay? Raven okay. form. Okay. Raven form. Um, it is a sorcery. Costs two and a blue. Exile a target artifact or a creature. Its controller creates a 1-1 one, one blue bird creature token with flying, and it has foretell one blue. Oh, that's right. The, that That's the blue path of exile they were talking about. Okay. It's a sorcery speed, though. So that's you a... hate it? I mean, it's, it's a really good card. Like, I, I would see myself putting this in some EDH decks for sure, but, I mean, it doesn't... It's not the type of card where I'm like, oh my god, I can't wait to play it. You know what I mean? Should be white. Yeah, that I guess that kind of makes sense, right? Weird. Yeah, I could see that. I just... I've never looked at this card before, and I kind of wish I had never seen it now. It's just... To me, it's not very exciting, to be honest. Yeah, it's just blue. Like it's... Eh. It doesn't draw me cards, so I'm not excited about it. Oh, this bird token's pretty cute, though. So Zuby doesn't care that Blue can just exile an artifact now. <laughs> bro. Bro, listen. All bro. right. So they, they've changed the color pie so much at this point. It's like, I'm, I'm along for the ride, okay? I'm not... I'm definitely not one of those people who, like, go hardcore into the color pie because pff, I barely understand it myself. Right? Like, I know... I know the basics of the color pie, you know, like what each color can sort of basically do. But when you get, you, you, I mean, Pixie, you see the the talk on Twitter, like these people yeah. are like, white needs to, you know, do this and that while green oh is, you know. And I'm just like, what? I'm like, okay. I, I, yeah. It, okay. It, <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. It's <laughs> sure. wild. It's wild. I'm I don't just along care for the about ride. that. Yeah. I'm just along for the ride. Like as long as they make some fun cards and, not like nothing super broken. Yeah. You know, I'm okay. Yeah. Um, and that sort of goes to our sort of next topic is like, what cards did we think would be broken? That would get banned in from standard. From this set. And I don't know, like, I didn't feel like anything was super like blowing my mind. This card is insane. Like it's going to destroy everything. You know, yeah, the yeah, they're, the only one I saw a lot of people talk about early on was, um, oh, what was it? Isn't there like a god or something that can like, oh no, there it's that land. There's that there's that land that can get all gods out of your deck and onto the battlefield, and then there's um there's also an artifact that can make all your creatures every single creature type. Mm -hmm. But that to me just seems like that's going to be really hard to pull off in terms of. Mm -hmm. Like if you're if you manage to pull that off, then you know, yeah, good for you. Yeah, I mean it might be good if and when it happens, but is it going to be like yeah. totally broken? And it is it going to happen all the time in like something like standard? No. Yeah. It wouldn't. Yeah. Um, but we did, but we did choose like what we felt like were the best cards or the most powerful, whatever, from the set. 
Um, and I said I thought um, Vorinclex was my choice. I hate it. I hate that card. <laughs> Why? It's so good. It is so good. And I think we talked about this on on the last episode. Yeah. But um, it is a 6-6 six, six Phyrexian Praetor for... Four green green. It has trample and haste. If you would put one or more counters on a permanent or player, put twice that many of each of those kinds of counters on that permanent or player instead. If an opponent would put one or more counters on a permanent or player, they put half that many of each of those kinds of counters on that permanent or player instead rounded down. That's so many words. I know. Well, it's basically... The, the first half of it is basically doubling season, if you look at that card. Yeah. Um, the second half, that's just... Fuck, man. Yeah, that's gross, right? You, you basically, like, shut down Planeswalkers, and you shut down Sagas and yeah. stuff. Yeah, 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 yeah. Disgusting. Yeah, it, it really is. I mean, yeah, this was my pick for, like, the most powerful card from the set, because it's pretty gross. <clears throat> And it's super strong, too, for yeah. sure. Yeah, so, I don't know. I hope I don't see it that much. You probably will. No! Sorry. Sorry to burst your bubble. Thanks. So what did you pick? I picked one of my favorite cards, Varagoth, the Blood Sky Sire. Oh! Or Var Varagoth. And, oh, and the reason okay. why I say that is because just the amount of tutoring you're going to be able to do with this card. Yeah. So so I think about like a standard deck, you know, they're going to run four of them. You know, obviously you can only have one out on the field at a time. Right. But, you know, you just boast, you mm -hmm. tutor it up, you think that one's going to die. Well, I'm just going to get another one. Put it on yeah. top of my library, yeah. draw, play it again. Boom, tutor up my win con or something. Yeah, 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 yeah. And in EDH, that's going to be dumb. Just tutor up yeah. your... Yeah. Your I win card. Yeah, I mean it's good for sure. It's a good card. I think I think it'll break standard somehow. Someone will think of a way to break it. I mean the thing is you have to attack with it. So I don't know. Like it can be you can get rid of it before it, it ever yeah. even attacks. Yeah, but if it attacks, you know, yeah. they can then like, well, in response I'm gonna lightning bolt it. And then you're like, well, in response I'm gonna boast and tutor up my answer right right you know yeah so so we'll see we'll see we'll have to th that'll be another prediction we'll have to you know if if, if they do get banned or something yeah I, I guess we'll have to go back and look at that maybe when strixhaven comes out see if that really did warp anything yeah i mean we'll probably know pretty soon before yeah, probably. before then maybe after after the early access event i'll be like i hate this card right yeah pretty much um yeah so i'm excited about calheim i'm excited to play some new cards yeah i think the set looks way better than i thought it was gonna be like i'll be honest it's um i'm not like probably super hyped for it like some other people mm -hmm. but it it looks good it looks it fun yeah you know i'm definitely ready to change things up a bit too so in terms of what? What do you mean? Like standard? I'm. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Can rogues go away forever? Nope. Oh, I man, mean, I, I realize they're not going to go away. We're going to D and D land. They're not. I know. We're not getting rid of rogues I at know. all. But they're gross, and I don't like them. They, they <sighs> make sorry. me sad. I know. Yeah, I'm, away. I'm excited to try it out though. Maybe there will be maybe there will be a good Jund Jund deck or a sacrifice deck because I really liked the old Rakdo sacrifice deck with the cat in the oven. And then that got banned like for no freaking reason and I just haven't really had fun the in cat. standard since then, honestly. Well, cuz you can't play your kitty cat. I know, right? It's it rude. better not be Efren. I'm going to kick your butt. D&D &D set will be the lowest power set in years. <laughs> Calling it now. I don't like Efren right now. <laughs> He's being so rude. 
He's being so mean right now. He's being so mean right now. Efren, stop. Um, so let's play our game. We're kind of having um, a sort of shorter episode tonight. And we do have one game to play, but it will be really yes. fun. It's one of our good old favorites. We're going to play Guess the Price. So we need um, chat involvement. Bum, bum, ba -dum. Yeah. Bum, bum, ba -dum. So do you want to go over the rules of Guess the Price? You go over the rules of Guess the Price. Okay. So Guess the Price is I will be showcasing cards to Pixie and chat, and they will have to come as close to the price as possible without going over. So yes. it's Price is Right rules. Yeah. Um, and I will mention whether or not the card that you're looking at is foil or not. Okay. As well, too, because that will matter for this. So yes, the it will. theme of, and yet yeah, based on card sphere prices, so Efren cannot cheat. He's not allowed, not allowed to look at the database for card sphere. No. Um, no cheating. So, yes. So the theme of this whole uh, guess the card price mm -hmm. is going to be since Kaldheim is so ridiculously metal. So metal. So metal. So metal. Yeah. So metal. It is so metal. So very um, metal. We're doing all metal cards. Yeah, metal cards. And, and guess, of Magic the Gathering. Guess the price, metal edition. Um, And this is in honor of Efren because he's just been so hyped about this set being metal themed. So. So metal. Yeah, so metal. All right, so, oh, I need to share the screen. That's right. Yes, please do. Okay, so let me share. Bum, All right, bum, you bam. should be able to see my background. Okay, hold on. Metal is a Pokemon card type, not magic. Silly Zuby. <laughs> True. Is it? Yep. Okay, we gotcha. We see your background. All right, all right, so... The first card, so chat, we implore you to take part of the game. Yes, and please. For, ev for everybody there listening as well, the audio, we implore you to try out too. Do it. Um, our first uh, card is Metal Fatigue. It's a two and a white instant, and t it says tap all artifacts. Oh, I'm so tired of all this. Me I'm so tired of all the metal of Kaldheim. I know. There's so much metal in the set, honestly. Um... I'm surprised all your cards aren't from Kaldheim, but, you know, you had to find some old ones. So, okay, Metal Fatigue, it's an instant, two and a white, tap all artifacts. I'm going to guess, uh, it's a common, I'm, I'm going to guess 27 cents. Okay, okay. I'm, I'm going to put my guess in the chat. Okay. Okay, so I see from Colin, Delta, Baltan, Arizona, makes it Kyoji. You better not have metal worker in here. That would be so unoriginal. Shut up, Efren. Efren, what's your guess? What's right? your guess, Efren? What is your guess, Efren? Come on. Bro, I'm waiting on waiting on Efren here to see if he's gonna. He's looking in the database right now. I know, right? Yeah. Freaking cheater. <laughs> Don't do it. I'm stumped. <laughs> okay, well. We're, we're gonna go on. We're gonna go on, um, because I'm not gonna wait for, you know, Efren diva. being stumped. Yeah, diva. Efren being a diva. <laughs> um, so the actual retail price of Metal Fatigue, according to Card Sphere, is eighteen cents. Oh, so Colin oh! actually got the closest to it. Colin One with cent the seventeen. Away. And Kyoji, you guessed nineteen cents. Oh, if you just oh, went so one close. over, so close. I know. Oh, man. Good job, Colin. All right. So our next card is okay. Metallic Mimic. Ooh, good one. Good one. Yes. It is. And this is the foil version of Metallic Mimic. Ooh, okay. So Metallic Mimic being a two-drop artifact creature shapeshifter, you choose a creature type. Ooh. It, Metallic Mimic is the chosen type in addition to its other types. And each other creature you control the chosen type enters the battlefield with an additional one one counter on it. Okay. This is a this is Dece. I'm gonna say um maybe like I'm gonna say one dollar and five cents. <laughs> oh. Efren, shut up. 
I will unsub if Metal Worker is in this game. I'm already, I'm already gonna tell you it is in this game. So shut up, Efren. Go ahead, unsub. Efren, get out of here. You're not even a sub. Right. So how can you unsub? <laughs> He'll unfollow. Oh, okay. Okay. So, all right. So I think everybody has guessed. Yeah, I see Arizona. Um. So the actual retail price of the foil metallic mimic. Is thirteen dollars and ninety three cents. Whoa! So, Tan. Ball Ball Tan. Ball Tan. Got that right. Nice. Okay. Wow. That was way more expensive than I thought. Yes, I said foil delta. Yeah, I heard you say foil, but I just thought. I mean, this can't be used that much. But it, apparently it is. In, in a tribal deck, it's very good. Sure, yeah, but, in a tribal like deck. Like, if you sure. did, like, straight up vampire tribal, choose vampires, boom, they all come with 1-1 one, one counters. In I it. Yeah, but, like, I just feel like flavor-wise, this doesn't fit with a vampire's deck. So I just wouldn't do it for that reason. Yeah, flavor-wise, definitely. Sorry. But, like, for anything tribal-related, it's so good. Mm. Um, yeah, so, I mean, I, I, I see that. And sees play in modern and pioneer. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, okay. I didn't know that. Okay. Um, next up we've got Metallic Sliver. Ooh, uh, gross. From Tempest. So how much? Do you, and this is normal, no foil or anything. Foils weren't around back then. Metallic for... Sliver counts as a sliver. Okay. Mm -hmm. Whatever that's supposed to mean. Okay, so it's a one-one for one common. Oh my yeah. gosh. Well, actually, you have to remember back then uh, for with Tempest, they didn't have the color for the common, uncommon rares yet. But this is a common, oh. though. Th th this is a common. I have no idea. I mean, I'm going to say 50 cents because I just don't know. Okay. All right, we have Kyoji, Baltan. Oh my god, Efren, shut <laughs> up. <laughs> if this game is about metal, it should be all foil cards. Okay. Oh my god. Okay. Okay. Can, can I ban him from chat? No. No. <laughs> all right, so do we have Arizona? Making a guess? Because I haven't seen Arizona Angel. My guess is one oh. silver quarter. So 25 cents? like 25 cents? Or if he's <clears throat> saying like one actual silver quarter, aren't they worth more? I don't even know what that means. I don't know. Um, So with everyone that's guessed, everyone went over. Oh, so, wow. Yeah. Okay, so I thought... everyone needs to guess again. Okay, I'm going to say um, 14 cents. Okay. So everyone needs to put in another <laughs> guess because everyone went over on the price. Yeah. I I was just like, why oh, would it be Kyoji a, gets a, it. a dollar? Oh! Kyoji gets it. It's 24 cents. Oh, shoot. Kyoji. Kyoji, you got it. You got it, Kyoji. Kyoji wow. was the first one to put in the correct price. Yep. Good job, Kyoji. Nice. Pat Cryer Redeem changed the stream name. Shut up. <laughs> to, to what? You have to tell me what to change it to. No, don't even let him. Just he, deny He him. used his point. Calheim is more country than metal. Oh, God. He's such a drama queen. Okay, I have to do he it. He really is. I'm doing it. Oops, what did I just do? I don't know. What did you do? I don't know. I clicked a button. Oh no! I'm I'm doing an ad or something. Uh oh. Everyone might be seeing an ad right now. Oh really? I'm not Let's sure. <laughs> well, we'll wait like a minute or so. It says there's 35 seconds remaining. Yeah, you clicked the ad button by accident. <laughs> Oops! But, a, a, everybody listening in audio land, uh, uh, Pixie accidentally hit the ad button on Twitch. Oh. Um, 
Okay. Yeah, if you're a sub, then okay. there's not an end. Oh, okay. The ad's yeah. over. Okay, sorry. We're back. It's Magic Run Armies. Yo, yo, yo. I was trying okay. to change the stream name for Efren. I wouldn't even try. I did. I already did it. Oh, he's the worst. Yeah. Okay. Alright, All right, I guess we'll move on to the next card since Efren is a party pooper and hates everything. Um, okay. Our next one is going to be Metallurgic Summonings, just the normal version Ooh, of it. Ooh, okay, okay. Three double blue enchantment. Whenever you cast an instant or sorcery spell, create an XX colorless construct artifact creature token where X is that spell's converted mana cost. And you can pay three double blue, exile this card, return all instant and sorcery cards from your graveyard to your hand. Activate this ability only if you control six or more artifacts. Um, so I see some guesses pouring in here. Okay. I don't know. This card seems janky. I feel like nobody would ever play this, right? I mean, I'm going to say 75 deep. cents. Okay. I, I believe it's not foil. It's not foil. Not foil. Non-foil, normal, regular. Not a Pringle. Not a Pringle. <laughs> okay, so we've got some guesses. Oh, Efren's deciding to guess now. Oh, God. This is the freaking worst. He said three dollars. If this game um, doesn't have foil li liquid metal coating, we all unsub. Oh my gosh. Um, so the retail price of Metallurgic Summonings is a dollar ninety-six. So Kyoji. Kyoji gets it. Kyoji. He is the closest out of everyone that guessed. Ooh, Colin was pretty close, but over. Yeah, Colin yeah. was over. Yeah. He was close though. Yeah. Wow. Right, okay. So. Interesting. All right, our next card. Metallic Rebuke Foil this time. <gasps> foil. foil. Okay. It is a two and a blue instant with improvised counter target spell unless its controller pays three. So this is a foil metallic rebuke. Okay, it's a counter spell. Gross. This is yeah. disgusting. Amazing. Amazing. No, it's not. Um I'm gonna say one cent. Oh, just because it's a counter spell? Yep. Wow. I okay. hate it. Okay. It's trash. Wow. Did Baltan guess? I don't. Oh, this is the this is a bunch of Tezzeret stuff, isn't it? I think he was yeah, well, on the last card too. Yeah, I mean, it's. A, I was trying to go for a metal theme, but uh -huh. so I just searched for like all cards with the name metal in it. Right. And, um, and it was a bunch of artifacts, sort of stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and I'll be I didn't have enough time to like really start searching for quote unquote metal things. Yeah, <laughs> like, no, like no. Rock and roll. No, th this is perfect. I mean, this is metal. This Everything fun. is metal. Technically correct. Yeah. So, the actual retail price of Metallic <laughs> Rebuke that the foil is a dollar 67. So, Baltan, you get what? it. What? A dollar 67? Yup. Delete. Rip this card up. Delete? Yeah. Do it. All right. So our next one is the normal version of this. Metal Spinner's Puzzle Knot. Ooh. It's a two-mana artifact. When it enters the battlefield, you draw a card and you lose a life. And then you pay two and a black to sack this and draw a card and lose a life. Okay. Draw a so card So the non-foil version of this. Um... I'm going to say um, 60 cents. I'm doing really okay. bad this game, obviously. No, you haven't gotten a I haven't even gotten one. one. I'm trash. Um, so the actual retail price for Metal Spinner's Puzzle Knot is 16 cents. So Baltan, oh! you get it again. Baltan! It was non-foil. Oop. Yeah, sorry, food time. <laughs> All right, so our next one is Metalwork Colossus. Normal, non-foil. Non-foil Metalwork Colossus. 
Okay. It is an 11 cost artifact creature construct 10 10, and it costs X less to cast, where X is the total converted mana cost of non creature artifacts you control. You can sack two artifacts to return this from your graveyard to your hand. That's so, pretty good. Non foil of Metalwork Colossus. So, let's see. If somebody's playing an artifact stack, like you would definitely want this. It's pretty decent. Talk like about you, of, oh, of non art non oh non creature artifacts. Okay. Yeah, non creature artifacts. I'm gonna say three dollars. Oh man, I think I guess I'm way too high. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we've got Kyoji, Futem, Colin, Baltan, Pixie. Yeah. Is there anyone else that wants to guess Metalwork Colossus non foil? Ninety three cents. Okay. I think <laughs> that is about everyone because I don't pay attention to Efren for <laughs> what he says. Um, Oof. So the actual retail price for Metalwork Colossus is eighty four cents. Oh, Baltan got it again. Baltan is on fire. So we have three cards left, and yeah. the score is Baltan with four, Kyoji yep. with two, and Colin with one. Baltan with four. Okay. Bal Baltan can... So K if Kyoji gets the next three, he can... Well, no, if Kyoji gets the next two, he can tie it with Baltan. Mm -hmm. So come on, Kyoji. Mm-hmm. This is it. All right. I'm completely right. out. Like, that's all there is to it. All right, next one is Metal Worker, but it's the foil version of Metal Worker. Um, what is this art? It is an amazing art. It's like shooting a laser beam at okay. some other golem or something. Okay. So you said this is the foil version? Yes, foil version. So Metal for worker. three mana, it's an artifact creature. It's a one-two. You can tap two. Reveal any number of artifact or tap this. Reveal any number of artifact cards in your hand. Add two colorless mana to your mana pool for each card revealed this way. Food time. I need an actual price, not a guesstimation. Wait, a what? I need an actual price. Food time. Why are y'all guessing so high? It's a pretty good card. Is it? Food time, just take a guess. I'm not going to say what condition. It is a foil metal worker. <laughs> I'm not playing that game. Because then you could play the game for every single card with that. I've never even heard <laughs> of this card. It's a very old card. I'm going to say $2. $2? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Hey, so, the Weekend Geek, thank you for the follow. Oh, thank you. So the actual retail price for Metalworker foil, according to cardsphere.com, yep. is $500, $548.69. So Pixie, you do win. Hell yes! <laughs> Holy shit! I said $2 and I won! Pixie wins. Oh my god! <laughs> Everyone else went over. That's right! That's right! <laughs> Take that! What condition is the card, y'all? Hey, if $500 is too low, go talk to Efren, all right? He runs the card sphere database. Yeah. If you want if you want to buy one, you should pick it up on card sphere if you think that cost is low. Yeah. 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 So Efren, I found a price bug. Oh, apparently. <laughs> Um, so our next card, <laughs> our next card is the foil version of Liquid Metal Coating. Uh, um, this is the foil version, okay? okay. So Delta, if you want to take that back and okay. guess something else, I'm, ju I'm just letting you because you may not have heard if it was foil or non-foil, but this is the foil version of Liquid Metal Coating. Artifact, okay. Target permanent becomes an artifact in addition to its other types. Uh, okay. <laughs> Fuck effort. <laughs> okay. This is, I'm gonna say, um, 54 cents. Okay. Mm-hmm. 
<laughs> All right, Efren, did you want to take a guess? Apparently or no. not. Apparently not, no, because he's all freaking... <laughs> all right, so the Right, actual... Colin? Kyoji said 420, and Colin said 421. Oh, oh, Efren knows the value of the card, that's why. Oh, okay. he knows the um, value. So Ugh. the actual retail price of liquid metal coating, the foil, is yep. $22.94. So Colin what got the it hell? right. Colin! <laughs> that was dirty, Colin! Why does hey, that cost hey. so much? I don't know. Is Jeez. it a good card? Like people use it or something? No. Hashtag rigged. <laughs> right? Yeah, why? Exactly. I want Delta. Why? I might have some of these. Sell them. Sell them. Get rid of them. Sell them. So, um, I mean, Baltan's going to win this regardless because Because nobody still else four. has. Yeah, gotten yeah, that high. No one's even going to come close. But oh, our last card of the <gasps> night. Oh, the, is the most metal of all cards. The most metal of cards. It's yeah. Tezzeret, Master of Metal. And this this only was printed in foil. So it it, it it's one of the Planeswalker deck cards. So it, it was is. only ever printed in foil. Yes. So how much would Tezzeret, Master of Metal be? Um, I'm going to say um, 89 cents. Why okay. are y'all guessing so high? I don't know. I'm a bit surprised. Y'all are wild. <laughs> Fucking Colin. Um, know, right? So the actual retail price for Tezzeret Master of Metal. Are we all uh, over? Is actually a dollar sixty four. So Delta was the closest one. <gasps> oh, Delta, you got it. with a dollar fifty, you can alter it with a guitar, and it it looks sick. It would master yes. of metal. So wow. that's it. Those are all the metal cards. Nice. Um, there's there's actually other. not a whole lot of cards with the. The, the word the metal. Word metal. <laughs> yeah. There's not yeah, a whole but, lot of them. I mean, you were, you were obviously able to find plenty. And I'm just so glad yeah. that we were able to play Guess the Price Metal Edition because, you know, Kaldheim is just so very metal. It's so metal. It's the most metal set ever. And I Ball just tan. felt like we could really... Uh, do I win yeah. a foil metal worker? No, Baltan, but... Yes. No, he does. He does win a foil metal worker. Um, just, just give me... Uh, five hundred dollars, <laughs> and I will send you a foil metal worker. Okay, yeah. sure. No, but Baltian, you can choose an, an emoji to spam in chat, though. That's because right, that's you right. won. So pick one of the like universal emojis to spam in chat, and we'll. Oh all my god, spam the, new, the new Pog Champ is amazing. Which it's a one cat. is it? Oh, it's a cat right now. Uh. What is Baltian picking? Oh yeah, oh I I have seen that pog. Yeah, that's cute. Oh the salt. The salt. PJ oh, salt. Day. Okay. PJ salt. Let's spam it. We're spamming it. Spam that salt. Congrats, Baltian. So much salt. Congrats, Baltian. Boom, boom, boom. I'm not dabbing. I refuse. You're not cool enough. I'm too cool, actually, for mm. dabbing. I don't know about that. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so that's pretty much our stream for tonight. Yeah. Um, Zuby, I know you might not be able to be doing any streaming anytime soon, but we will yeah. We will keep up with you on Twitter. What's your Twitter? And, and Discord, uh, yeah, at yeah. Magic with Zuby. Okay. And the Discord is we can share a link to the Discord. I can't do it right now, but uh, you can you can find it on my Twitter. It's okay. like on the front page of yeah, my Twitter. There it is. Um, so yeah, I think that we're gonna wrap it up there for tonight. We will be may we will probably not be back in two weeks. Zuby, right? Yeah, I mean, it's hard to say. I yeah. have no idea. <laughs> I have really have no idea. We'll see. We'll see. Um, we will figure it out either way. Uh, let's yeah. find a channel to raid, and let's see who else is on right now. 
Andy from Guardian Project Podcast is streaming some EDH right now. Andy from Guardian. It's at Flory, so A T F L O U R Y. Okay, let's do that. EDH is always fun. Um, thank you so much, everyone, for thank hanging you. out with us tonight and for playing Guess the Price with us. And we just so enjoy hanging out with y'all. We look forward to it. Thank you for being here. Have a great night. Um, we're going to go raid Andy. So go watch some fun EDH. And we will see you all next time. Bye, everybody. Bye. <laughs>